exciting season to come up for SDSU basketball. Aztecs preparing to head to this Maui tournament. Yeah. And uh, Duke, I mean, this this is uh, this is going to be a big one for you guys to start off your year. Yeah, for sure. I mean, um, we're going to take it one day at a time during practice, you know, prepare for it. And, you know, when we get there, we're just going to play hard and play the best that we can. Jalen, a couple months ago, did you think you'd be here today? Um, <laughs> I mean, honestly, I, I don't know, really, like a couple months ago. My, pro my I was thinking about, you know, NBA, things like that. So, I mean, I'm glad I'm here, though. How, how, how was that? And now that you've had some space yeah. to look back on that experience, what, what stood out? Um, it was pretty fun, you know, traveling to different cities uh, every night and then getting into these organizations, um, just being there, you know, seeing what they have. Um, like, just everything is just amazing. But um, the competition, just playing at each workout, um, going your hardest, competing, even though it's only like 45 minutes, you got to go hard every second, <laughs> everything you're doing. What you know? do they do? I've always wondered, that. Like, what, what do they do? So you get I to mean, work, you get 45 minutes. What do yeah. you do? I mean, like, you do shooting, shooting drills, competition shooting against uh, someone, and then pretty much one-on-one, -on -one, two two-on-two, three-on-three, and then three-on-three, -three, full court, and who, tired. Who, who are you playing <laughs> yeah, against? Yeah. I mean, who are you playing against? Like, we're who? playing against, uh, I mean, one workout I had, like, um, Dude from Villanova that was there, uh, DiVincenzo. Um, oh, okay, sure. Yeah, and some more players. You know, I really can't even. Yeah, so you can't other, remember football. Other yeah. college players. Other okay. college guys, yeah. and they work you all out yeah, together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Holy cow. Yeah. I mean, the stress of walking into that first one, I know you did this many times mm -hmm. over, but I experienced this coming out of college football, and I remember the recruiting process, uh, or, you know, the pre-draft process. Yeah. It's it's scary. You're, yeah. like, shaking everyone's hands. <laughs> sure. What was it like tying your shoes, hopping on the hardwood for the first time with one of these teams? Um, I was just really excited, you know, really anxious um, to just play, you know. So, I mean, at first, take a couple of shots, you start missing. You're like, oh, man, they're thinking, I'm, you know, <laughs> whatever. But, um, the, you know, you just got to play your game and just um, – be positive and just um, just know that you're the best player out there. That's what you got to think. So, uh, It's Aztecs Basketball Media Day. We're at the Jam Center. Jalen McDaniels is with us uh, on Mark and Rich. Jalen, I, I think last year, uh, certainly for a coaching change, it was as seamless as coaching changes go because yeah. it was Brian Dutcher. And the, the, you guys know him, and, and we've known for a long time that he was going to be your guy. And uh, But I, I still have to imagine there was some sort of transition for him yeah. and, and for you guys What's the significance of, of that now not being a transition this year, going into year two? Um, I mean, I feel like he, you know, last season we went through some rough patches, so I feel like Coach already knows, like, what to expect, you know. This is his first year being a head coach, you know. So I feel like this year he just knows what more to expect, just being the head coach and what to do in, like, certain situations to help us win. So I feel like he'll be well prepared, you know. You're walking across the gym, and I'm like, oh, there's Jalen. I, I looked down at my notes. It's open to the page where you're on it, holding a basketball. Yeah. And, a, and and it says here, one of four freshmen in the country last season to average 10.5 points, 7.5 boards, and 58% from the field. And I think about that, and it blows me away. You're one of the best four freshmen in the country. Does it feel like that? And how, how do you deal with that? I mean, it doesn't really feel like I've never been that person with the attention and stuff like that. So, like, I mean, it just feels like normal, like, okay, I still got to keep working, you know. I mean, like, my goal is bigger than what just playing college basketball, you know. So when I look at that, I'm like, okay, we, we're trying to get to the top. We got to keep working, you know. What, what are those goals when you put them into words? You, you know, hit the pillow at night. What, what's, what, know, what is the vision? You know, I want to win another conference championship, make it to the NCAA tournament, you know, uh, playing the NBA. Those are my goals, so. Yeah. I, I, I think about the process you went through and obviously a season where you guys had this uh, dream season. You pulled it all together. You guys end up in the tournament. You make some noise. It was a ton of fun to watch. I mean, yeah. and we're sitting behind microphones marveling at what you're doing on the court. But, you know, like you mentioned, you have goals. You have things you want to wor work on. Yeah. Last year and through this offseason, some of the things you look at and say, ooh, let me be critical. What are, what are the weak points you want to work on and what were some of the I strengths? Mean, I feel like um – this summer, just working on a lot of my ball handling, shooting ability, you know, just being comfortable shooting a three ball. Like, I felt like I always was, but um, just being confident in myself shooting. Uh, I mean, just it just is a lot, a lot of reps. And when you get comfortable, then I feel like it just clicks for you. So, I mean, um, you're just going to have to see the season, really. Yeah. <laughs> so, Jalen, yeah. how's your brother doing? Uh, <laughs> 
Hey, he's doing good. He's doing good for sure. Hey, go, let me check. My, Mike, uh, we have the sports information. Are we allowed to talk about Jaden McDaniel? Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jalen can. I mean, yeah, he yeah. can't recruit him. I can actively recruit Jaden, right? Jaden, I hope you're listening. We love you on this show. Yeah, we yeah. don't need to ask Brian about it in, in an hour, but we could ask Jaden. No, what, what, is, what is your role in this process I mean, of, 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 of where he's going to go? You know, like, really, um, I tell him, like, this is what you got to look for in the college coaches and what they tell you. You just got to analyze it really, um, really good, you know. And I feel like I always tell him here, he knows how it is here. He knows family. Um, he's been down here a few times. So he already knows what he's going to expect if he comes here, you know. So, But I really leave it in his hands to make his decision. I don't want to interfere. But I try to give him a little, like, hey, you know, <laughs> <laughs> you know you're welcome down here. That's right. For sure. But um, it's really all in his hands. So, Best part of being an Aztec, worst part of being an Aztec. Uh, the best part, um, <laughs> the best part of being an Aztec just is like, like the during the games, the fans, it mm. goes crazy. The show. You know, the show, um, the worst part, there's no, I don't think there's like any, no Nothing worst part. Nothing sticks yeah. out. I'll tell you yeah. what, when I was in college, I complained about the practices all yeah. the time, and you yeah. guys get work here. Oh, yeah. For I've, sure. I pop my head in and seen what you're up to. I mean, you run, you yeah. run, and you run, and this is a defensive team. Yeah. I, I mean, yeah, you score points, we just mentioned, but, what what are those grind like practices, and, and how does that shape what you guys do in season? Uh, just waking up like seven in the morning, having no ball, not using the ball during a practice. Man, it gets to you mentally. You're like, man, why am I doing? Like, we're just doing defensive slides, but it all really matters, you know. Um, and when it's game time, you're doing those defensive slides all hard in the morning. It's just easy in the game, you know, yeah. making the right rotations, things like that. Jalen McDaniels is joining us, star for the Aztecs Hoops team, joining us on Mark and Rich. So, by the way, so I'm, I'm not done with this Jaden thing. Right. I, 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 <laughs> so, so uh, you, you, I love that. You want to leave it in his hands, yeah. uh, you, but, but you're, you've kind of created this thing where you're there for him. If yeah, he wants yeah. to talk about it, figure it out. Uh, I, I mean, how would you put into words, uh, you know, where San Diego State stands in this process? Um, I feel like they're high on the list. Okay. You know, I feel like he really trusts the coaching staff here. I feel like he's comfortable with talking to them. Um, it's just being like that family-oriented group of people. I feel like he feels that from there. So I wouldn't be surprised if, like, he was their top. Like, I, I'm, I think they are. I know. Like, okay. You know, so yeah. we just got to see, really. Like, I don't who, really try. Who, and who else right now is on the list for him? Um, I really don't know. You don't know? I don't know. Okay. So we just going to have to see. Like, yeah. 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 Well, we'll just keep uh, we'll just keeping him our uh, sending him our vibes. You know, Kawhi Leonard's down here. Speaking of a former Aztec, and hopefully your brother is a future Aztec. Uh, he's working out in the jam center. Did you get yeah. an opportunity to bump into him at all? Uh, yeah, I've seen him all the time in here, just grinding real hard. I've talked to him a few times. Like, how you doing? What's up? No. You ever? Does, does he respond? Yeah. He's <laughs> okay. yeah, 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 yeah. Do you, you have, never know. Does I, he ever work in? Do you guys <laughs> ever? Do you, does he work into your drills? Can you guys come in and maybe um, get some reps with him? I feel like uh, his workouts are more private, more for him, you yeah. know. Uh, I feel that 100%. So, I mean, when I see him in here, like, he says, says some things like, oh, this is what you should do. Like, if he's watching, you know, he'll pull you to the side. So, so he's watching the games, and he, yeah. he knows y your game, and he's like, giving you some of the like things. Like, when we're working out, he's like, oh, this way, like, keep your, hand, your handle tighter, oh, stuff, little stuff like that, you know. It's perfect. Are there are there other – is he or are there other former Aztecs who have moved on to the professional ranks where over the – now the next 12 months yeah. when you, you know, in theory will go through this process again and um, who, who you will reach out to, uh, you rely on them for anything? Uh, like Jamal Franklin. Like, I mm -hmm. talk to him a lot. He's like a big brother to me. So, I mean, work out with him. Um, like, he gives me a lot of pointers. So, and just anything – like, if, if I just need to hit him to talk about something, he'll hit me right back, you know. So, I feel like we have a good relationship. Well, Jalen, uh, it's uh, it's awesome to catch up with you again. Uh, we, I'm sure you got other duties here around the uh, around the room for the next hour or so, but we appreciate you starting with so, us. Yeah. Thanks Thank for coming you. by. Thanks for having me. Yeah, right. absolutely. Yeah. There it is. Right. Appreciate it here. I'll grab that headset right. from you. Thanks, Jalen. All right.